JT, like I said, got three songs, but she around here acting like she don't drop two EPs or two albums. Like her attitude and how cocky she is. You understand? So like I said, she was doing a live um, with Ray Monte, and I guess she was here in Miami, Florida, finna do one of her little back, backyard barbecue shows. See, y'all got me saying backyard, <laughs> backyard barbecue shows, but shout out to JT. But on that live, she was kind of like responding to Sukiyana and saying a lot of things, but she also was just like, she'll get her hitters, somebody, she'll put a hit out on Sukiyana, meaning that she'll get someone to jump on her. You understand? She'll get someone to fight her. You know what I'm saying? Like, basically handle her. And I was just like, wait, wait, wait. JT is basically threatening Sukiyana and saying she would get somebody to put the paws on her. Like, really, bitch? Just really. And the reason why I'm talking about this, because y'all know I did a video about why JT and Nicki Minaj have not been supporting Akbar verbally on social media, saying that she got, you know, beat up um, allegedly by one of Cardi B friends that know a friend. You know, you know, over there in New York, they've been quiet as a kept because Art Marv always goes so hard for Nikki and JT because she feels that they are her friends. You know what I'm saying? Even though she, you know, she just became JT little friend, you know, a couple of months ago, but she've already been with, you know, established to Nicki Minaj for about two years. So like Art Barbie around here, you know, she be, you know, swinging and banging and, and, you know, clapping back at folks that come after JT and Nicki Minaj, but now homegirl don't got, you know, beat up over there in New York, and they haven't said anything, and like I said, don't y'all got connects, Nicki, and you know, you two JT, you know, to kind of like, you know, hey, handle and fix this situation regarding y'all little friend girl, y'all besties, why y'all acting like, you know, young Miami, you know what I'm saying, like y'all just waking up and y'all don't know what the hell going on, JT, you be on Twitter now, you a Twitter stain, you a Twitter head, now you just said that you got people to put the paws who could put the paws on Sukiyana, but you ain't got people to put the paws on the young lady who beat up your friend over there in New York. Okay, make it make sense. So that's kind of hypocritical, you know what I'm saying? See, they get mad when I call it out, but I'm going to call it out. Because like I said, it, it's brought to the end and then I'm going to give my opinion and my two cents. Who going to check me, boo? Let's be real. Let's be honest. Okay, because I'm a Miami too. <laughs> so, but I'm just like, you know, it's crazy that she, you know, and she said it twice in that little video with Ray Monte. Y'all can go find and see it that, you know what, she got, you know, a young lady that can, you know, right now, that's, yeah, they, you know, but Sukiyana supposed to be in Miami right now. That's around the corner that can put the paws on Sukiyana. I'm just like, girl, why you ain't had that same energy for your friend? Okay, Akbar V. Who don't got like a little knot in the center of her head? See, this is what I'm talking about. That, that flu gaze, that, fl that fake and phony stuff. Don't be cool and come and collect them when it's convenient for you. But, bitch, when I get my ass whooped, I need you to have that same energy for me. Get your goons to handle and, and go run down on the young lady who ran down on me. You understand what I'm saying? So, it's kind of crazy. That's why I say, baby, baby JT, play, she act all innocent and nonchalant like she don't know what's going on. Everybody after her. But, like I said, I clock and I check it. JT is full of shit and she on some gang gang shit. Other thing, like I said, she calls, you know... You know, Sukiyana, a crackhead, you know what I'm saying, a drug dealer and all that. But JT, forget her past. And I'm like one of them people, like, if I'm going to speak ill about somebody, I might as well shoot myself in the foot too if I did it, bitch. Look, we both did it. We both was out here doing it. But I see JT, like I said, she don't got really the big head arrogant and somebody gassed her up like a, a, a helium balloon. You understand? Like, she's an airhead. And you know what? She forget her past. Girl, you you was a criminal just like um your girl over there, Sukiyana. You no difference. You just cleaned up your act. But girl, don't act brand new. Don't act like you wasn't, you know, baby, just in Broward. That you wasn't in, in jail over there in Broward County the other day. But it's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was, is going to sick her goons and her hitters, her girls on Sukiyana, who's a reality star, according to her, nobody, which, you know, she's correct. She ain't got really nothing going on. But Akbar B is a nobody, too. But like I said, she ride for you. She ride here going out the gloss of a Glorilla on your behalf. But like I said, you know, you ain't seen your goons over there on, on gloss, up, gloss Up and Glorilla. And I wonder why, JT. Because I feel like you know them Memphis girls body body. You know, us Miami hoes, we body body too. You know, every state and city got their little girls and stuff. They got their little reps and, and their little sets and stuff. But like I said, you didn't have that energy for a Glorilla. And like I said, you and Gloss Up, you know, it's on the same label. You ain't want to send your goons, you know, when they was threatening you to run down on you. When it got heated, you and Akbar, you was quiet as a kept. 
But now you all finicky, you know, you all jumpy, jumpy and froggy, froggy when it come down to Sukiyama. Why don't you check in? Why don't you, you know what I'm saying, link up? And why don't you beat Suki on the ass? You got to go find another woman to beat her up. That's kind of like, what? And, of course, I don't expect JT because, you know, of course, she, she's an artist. You know, she's up and coming. Well, she ain't, up and, she ain't new. You know what I'm saying? But she's up and coming with her new music. So, I understand, you know, she don't want to catch a charge. But, girl, you, I mean, did, is it getting that serious? What does she text you or uh, what's she uh, replying in your DMs? What is she saying? To you, for you to want to send somebody to go beat her up. That's what I want to get to. This is going to get messy. This is going to get sticky. But that's So, like I said, you know, she didn't have all this energy for Glow. You know, they went back and forth. And, you know, she did take real good digs <laughs> at um, Glorilla. But, like I said, one thing about when Glorilla was going back and forth was really sticking to JT. Which I know she's, you know, she's eating it up. But I know it's bothered. I know she's bothered by it. Is those backyard barbecues. Because, like I said, now... You know, that backyard barbecue is going to be associated to JT. So, you know, out of all the stuff that JT said about Glorilla, none of it is sticky. No one is, you know, talking about the jabs that she threw at Glorilla. But everybody now is calling JT, you know, she's still on her backyard barbecue tour. You understand what I'm saying? So, like I said, I don't see... I noticed that JT didn't want that smoke with Glorilla that much. You feel me? Because, you know, Glorilla, you know, was going to eat JT up musically. Because if you ask me... And like I said, JT is very experienced and she's been around way longer than Glorilla. But if you ask me my opinion, and I know y'all going to come at, you know, come after me for it because you're going to feel like, oh, because she supports Sneaky and you feel that way. But I go by just the work in the history. Glorilla, I feel like, can outwrap JT. Okay, y'all can call me wrong. Y'all leave y'all comments and tell me I'm reaching this stuff. But currently right now, I feel like... Glorilla can outdo, and she is outdoing, and outrap, outrap JT, even with her little Memphis, you know, accent. I feel like, you know, JT music is meant to me. It, it's, it's not something that's, you know, like I said, I would choose, like I said, Cardi B over JT easily. I really, I really will. I would choose Megan over JT easily, because like I said, JT haven't really put in the work. And even with the last few songs that she dropped out, it ain't even all, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, it's not even all that. It's not something that's going to make you want to replay all the time, if you ask me. And that's just my honest opinion. I feel like she got to give me a lot more. I also like to see her do, you know, features with other female, you know, artists. I don't see that's happening because who she's kind of connected to. So I really also see, I also see that JT is burning a lot of bridges with a lot of these female artists. And it's going to hurt her in the long run. Okay, because like I said, you could be cool with Nicki Minaj, but what they got to do with Nicki Minaj? You literally don't want to work with these other girls. But I feel like it would be nice for you to drop a feature with another female artist like Megan Thee Stallion. But I also feel that she's insecure and also jealous of Megan Thee Stallion at the same time. I, I, I sense this and I get this vibe from her. She know that if she gets on the track of Megan Thee Stallion, Megan Thee Stallion will outdo her and, and baby run circles around JT. You feel me? More people be into the song because of Megan than, you know, JT. So she don't, I don't think that's, I think that's why she's been holding back with working with Megan. And I could be wrong, but I'm an observer and I analyze a lot of things. She knows that Megan is her competition in Glorilla. So her and Glorilla ain't never going to be cool again. But like I said, you know, Megan been wanting to work with JT, but I, I feel that she don't want to do it because of course the Nicki Minaj, but I also feel like she's insecure. She know that. Megan Thee Stallion is very competitive. And Megan Thee Stallion can do circles and outdo JT on any day. She can. And JT knows it. JT is still insecure even though she don't glow up. I've always thought she was pretty. If you ask me and stuff, I always felt like JT can do better. But she's giving, like I said, just like if she's brand new. You know what I'm saying? Out, out. She, like she's brand, she acting like she's brand new to mainstream and she's not. Like we just getting the third song months later. And like I said, y'all gassing her up, hyping her up. I'm, I'm happy for her, but I'm not. I'm not. She could do way better than what she's giving. She got these new girls, Lotto, Glorilla, Flo Millie, Megan Thee Stallion. Don't, don't drop albums, EPs, and this girl is still on her third song. And y'all, like I said, are not calling it out. Y'all want to sit up there and baby her and pacify her and, 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 you know, not hold her accountable. But I will not. Like I said, Young Miami is a lost cause. She's trying to struggle and put her little music out here. And like I said, she ain't got the bars back at her. Because like I said, Nicki Minaj don't care, don't care for Young Miami at all.
But like I said, it's so crazy, you know, that she forgave JT. But now we know because she tried to get under Cardi B's skin. And still, like I said, with her doing all that, JT, JT can't hold a candle to Cardi B. And she writes. JT writes. But like I said, even though, you know, allegedly Cardi don't write, I believe she, you know, asked and she, you know, put little, you know, bars and she helped write her music and stuff. Even though, you know, allegedly Cardi B got writers and stuff. But however, she still sounds better on any track than JT, if you ask me. She do. Okay, we can agree to disagree. Even though JT feels that she's unique and she feels that she's way above Sukiyana, which in my opinion she is. Uh, you know, I have to really go look at Sukiyana music. But some people say that at the same level. But JT said, that, you know, um, Sukiyana people gave up on her a long time ago. That's why her rap career failed. But some people feel like, you know, they're on the same level. But like I said, I'm going to be waiting for Sukiyana diss track against JT. We're going to see if JT is going to respond. But like I said, you know, JT saying she's trying to use her hell. Why not? You giving me all this promo. You know what I'm saying? You dragging me. I don't think Sukiyana cares because Sukiyana's an open book. She's out there. She know about the little nasty things she have done on social media. So that's really not really a read. It's just regurgitating information that's already on social media. But she did drag her ass, you know, to hell. She did. A lot of it was really funny. You understand? So I'm going to be waiting for Sukiyana diss track and... Baby, if she light JT up, this won't be good for JT. And she's going to have to, JT's going to have to respond. Because I thought that JT was trying to, you know, bait Cardi B. You understand? And like I said, still, Cardi B, in enough, she don't write about five chicks on one song. Okay, her ghostwriter's on it. <laughs> you understand? But like I said, JT thus far for the one, for the win when it come down to this Sukiyana situation. And JT, you need her to drop this EP or this album. And girl, it better be lit. It better set you to the top. Now, be careful. Because like I said, you, you know, you're doing a go alone and get along with the Onika Minaj. And like I said, as soon as she feel like you're getting a little too, too, too hype, she going to shut you down, girl. You better watch your back and keep your eyes open. But uh, that's all I got to say about this situation. But like I said, it really puzzled me as to, you know, why JT never gave all this energy to Glorilla. Because maybe she know Glorilla pen work. It's very competitive to her, and she don't want that. Because, you know, Glorilla is really on JT level, unfortunately. And she's only been mainstream for about two years. You would think that JT is, you know, she should be way above Glorilla, but she's not, unfortunately. She's not. But y'all really gas her up off those three songs. Y'all acting like JT don't put out two or three albums. <laughs> you understand? But, hey, it is what it is. I'll catch y'all later. <laughs>